Riga, Latvia, from the Radisson Hotel. And Miss Lee and I, we made it. Hi, honey. Hi. Very nice room. The Latvian National Opera. Riga National Opera. Miss Lee, very nice. This is the one of the many squares in Latvia. Thank you very much for those kind words. And it is indeed a real pleasure for me to be here. Uh, it's a homecoming for me. Uh, over 100 years ago, my grandfather left Lithuania at the age of 17 to immigrate to the United States. And as a child growing up, he told me many stories about this foreign country. And I had dreams and imaginations of uh, the beauty of Lithuania and the Baltic area. And no one in my family has returned to the Baltic area. I'm the first one in over 100 years, so it's very special. And this is my, uh, the immigration document of my grandfather. He came to the United States in 1907 at the age of 17. A very handsome man. You might see the resemblance. <laughs> and his name is Kisis, and his wife was Matilda. And I'm asking my Lithuanian colleagues, I'm trying to find the time where he was born. And he was born in Pekasko, Lithuania. I haven't been able to locate it on any maps. And my grandmother, Matilda, was born in Terespik, Lithuania. So if any of the Lithuanian colleagues out there know these cities, because my wife and I were planning to head to Lithuania after the Congress and explore the area. And here's where I live. It's much different than the Baltic. In the summers, it's as high as 40,000 patients, 1,000 patients. Thank you. And it gives a hope <laughs> because the colleagues mostly in ophthalmology are really skeptical. Oh, yeah, they're horrible. And, uh, I, when I saw that somebody is using homeopathy in ophthalmology, <laughs> it gives uh, hope, you know, <laughs> because um, I, every day I see animals without tuberculosis, and uh, this is the thing that never happened seven years ago, for example. You never saw so many animals without tuberculosis. Now I see at least three yeah. animals per day without tuberculosis, so that makes uh, things about I'd like to thank you very much. It was really interesting. Thank you. And it gives a hope <laughs> because uh, colleagues mostly in ophthalmology are really skeptical. Oh, yeah, they're horrible. And uh, 
I, when I saw that somebody is using homeopathy in ophthalmology, <laughs> it gives uh, hope, you know, <laughs> because um, I, every day I see animals without tuberculosis, and uh, this is the thing that never happened seven years ago, for example. You never saw so many animals without tuberculosis. disease. Now I see at least three yeah. animals per day without tuberculosis. disease. So that makes uh, things about uh, such a